Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on WireGuard. I'll delve into how WireGuard works, examine its strengths and weaknesses, particularly regarding privacy. WireGuard is a modern and lightweight VPN protocol designed to be faster, more secure and easier to configure than traditional VPN solutions such as, for example, OpenVPN. As you can see here, almost all of the top 10 VPNs, according to Forbes, all use WireGuard or variants thereof. At its core, WireGuard utilizes state-of-the-art cryptographic techniques to establish secure connections between devices. It's built on top of the Noise Protocol framework, incorporating robust encryption algorithms like ChaCha20 and Curve 25519. A detailed table of the protocols used can be seen here. One notable difference to OpenVPN, for example, is the fact that WireGuard uses only these protocols. There is no possibility to use, for example, Blowfish. For symmetric encryption, you have to use ChaCha20. WireGuard was designed with Linux in mind, and it is therefore incorporated into the Linux kernel, which, next to other benefits, makes it extremely fast. Since 2021, it is also part of the Windows kernel. Also, WireGuard has only 4000 lines of code, which means that auditing is extremely simple, again compared to OpenVPN with its hundreds of thousands of lines of code. However, despite its many advantages, WireGuard is not without its shortcomings, particularly in the realm of privacy. One notable concern is WireGuard's reliance on static IP addresses for identifying endpoints. While this simplifies the protocol's design and implementation, it can potentially compromise user privacy by allowing adversaries to track and correlate connections. Furthermore, since WireGuard lacks built-in mechanisms for obfuscating traffic patterns, it may be susceptible to certain forms of traffic analysis attacks which could further jeopardize user privacy. However, it is highly dependable on the concrete implementation how much your privacy is endangered. NordVPN, for example, uses a double NAT system, which they called NordLynx, which assigns the same IP to each user. The second NAT is needed so that each user gets their own content and IP addresses are not mixed up. In conclusion, while WireGuard offers great performance and security benefits, privacy risks are dependent on the concrete application. You should definitely check out how the protocol is implemented before switching to WireGuard on your VPN. Thanks for watching and if you found this video interesting, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.